Take a look at some of the new metronome functionality found within Cubase Pro 9.5. The metronome settings can be accessed in a couple different ways. We can go directly from your transport menu and select a metronome setup. If you have the extended toolbar with the right mouse click, we can also go to your metronome setup from transport or by clicking on the little icon directly to the right of the metronome in the transport. Here we can see our general settings where we could have the metronome activated we can send it to a MIDI destination to, or an audio click. We also have the option of having a playback during recording, playback, or count-in. We can set the number of bars for the count-in and different options for handling time signatures at count-in. Most of us are probably pretty familiar with our metronome sound in Cubase already, so we'll go ahead and take a quick listen to it. But if we wanted to change that, we can now come directly here to the transport and go to our metronome setup and go to our click sounds. Here we could route it to a virtual instrument or to any MIDI device, select a MIDI pitch as well as velocity for each sound. We have the option in our audio click settings to use our Steinberg click sound or to use custom sounds. So here I have clave A, we could also go to clave B, to cowbell, egg shaker, firm wood, hi-hat, to mechanic, To stick to synthetic tambourine tiny kit Tom vintage spike this is very similar to Yuri or to Woodblock. If you want to load your own samples in, you can just click here in the sound field and select a WAV file. We'll go back to our Steinberg click. And we also want to have different patterns. So when I have a signature track here, I could select the time signature event and I could see a pattern here. And we could also see that pattern directly on our transport by moving this line over. If I wanted to edit the pattern, I could double click here or double click directly on the pattern itself. So if I wanted to have different patterns, I could have four different pitches. So if I wanted to click track that did something like this. I could also choose to not have a pulse on beat two. Or if I wanted to have quintuplets, I could set the number of clicks to five or two sextuplets or septuplets. And we could also have different patterns. So I could have a default pattern, but we could also have built-in patterns for half tempo, double tempo, or as six, eight. Now the patterns can also be edited. So if I wanted to again, come here to my metronome setup, we could go to the third tab and here we could have different meters, different styles of default pattern. So let's say if I wanted to go to 12, eight, and I wanted my default, I wanted to create a new pattern. I could just click here and edit and say, I wanted my pulses to be broken down like that. And we could have that as our new pattern. 
the metronome really shines when dealing with complex meters. So let's say I have a couple of measures of seven, eight here. Now we may notice that the grids sometimes still kind of don't necessarily align with a lot of complex meters. So let's say if I go to my seven, eight pattern here and we look at it and I play, we see kind of two by two by two by one. But there's an option where if we go to our main ruler, we could right click and you could check use metronome click pattern level for grid line emphasis. So now we see that I have my 7A pattern, but I'm going to click here. And let's say I wanted to do 2 plus 5. We could see the grid here change according to my click pattern. So if I want to do 3 plus 4 or four plus three. So you could see this grid line change based on the actual patterns here. So I have three plus four. And then if I put another time signature event, and let's say this one is set to four plus three, now when I play, I could actually listen to my different pulses. And this could also come in very handy when you're dealing with 12-8. So a lot of times you may have a pattern that some people may want to subdivide their pattern of 12-8 so that it looks like this. So that's gonna be groups of threes. But if I wanted groups of fours, I could now just have it play right here. And sometimes when we do this and we're at very high tempos, this could be really a bit aggravating to musicians to hear constant, I've heard the term machine guns going off in my head for the click tracks when it's a fast tempo like this. So you may want to have the pattern just broken down like this where the musicians will subdivide. One of the requests that people have had for a long time is the ability to render the click. So I'm going to just select all the events and from my signature track I could just click right here on the arrow and I could render a MIDI click between the left and right locators and this will generate my MIDI pattern but also more importantly the audio click. So at this point we've now rendered the audio click with all of our different subdivisions and patterns. So you can see that there's a tremendous amount of flexibility that not only ties into customizing the sounds but in having it work with whatever pulses and different meters very easily with the new functionality of the metronome in Cubase Pro 9.5.